Greetings and salutations. If you are new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I am a modern day performing strongman as well as a personal trainer. Now, being a modern day performing strongman, um, I know that people have a lot of questions about my philosophy when it comes to strength, the different things that I do, that sort of thing. So I had started a YouTube series where I would invite people to ask me questions and I would answer them with their very own custom video, which I haven't been on top of because truth be told, super busy, super busy training people and super busy trying to book gigs for the fall, winter it's, and stuff like that. In which case I got some exciting stuff lined up in the future um, and also a couple during the summer too. Uh, but anyways, I'll bang these out when I get the opportunity and I found myself with a little bit of time to bang this one out real quick before I do my training session before my next people come in. So, this question comes from Vera, and he says, she, I'm not really sure, because it's like a globe or something as the, as the uh, avatar. Says, first of all, thank you for answering my question. Got the answer. I want to know, do you do, do you training or exercise your fingers? If answer is yes, what kind of exercise can you give suggestions for strength, feet, tests something like what you do so thank you for asking the question and I'm gonna try and answer it as best I can yes I do train my fingers um, not as much as you might think I don't do it terribly often because with just about every exercise that involves your hands you're gonna be training your fingers to some extent now for that little bit of extra what I do, and this was a suggestion given to me by Hercules Chris Ryder, and he actually has a YouTube video about it. I'll see if I can find it and I'll leave it in the description below. But basically, this is a gyro ball, a, a super ball, a spinner ball. Um, there, there's any number of names for these things. And what you do is normally there's like a, a pull string so you can get it going kind of fast. I've lost my pull string, I don't know where it is. So what I have to do in order to get it going fast is I'll run it against the floor real quick. Now with this, there is like a, a ball inside of here so that as this thing is spinning around, it is attempting to wobble itself out of your hand and you're trying to um, keep it spinning with the same technique that you would be holding a glass with an ice cube and spinning that ice cube around in it. But what I do, instead of holding it like a baseball, this is something told to me by Chris Ryders, I will hold it in the fingers. Now what this does is it increases the lever length and forces my hand to work a little bit harder. And particularly with the transfer to the feet is when I'm bending a wrench or something, what's going on is it is attempting to pry my hands open. So I'm not so much crushing it as trying to prevent it from moving. Now, as this thing's spinning this way and that, it is also trying to pry my hands open. Um, the faster it spins, the harder it goes, and it's also a lot of fast pulses, which is kind of like what bending, uh, bending steel and wrenches and stuff like that is, as you explode onto the thing and then you, with, then you hold the tension until it, it bends. So he's gonna have a bit more of an in-depth explanation, but I figure this at least can give you a good starting point as to what I do. Um, but I'll just do a quick demo. So I'm gonna get this thing spinning real quick. So just to get it started, I'll hold it like a baseball because it takes a little bit to get it to catch. And then once it's going, Now it's starting to go. Now, I'll hold it in my hands. See, like so. And this is phenomenal for building multiple ways of, of your grip. And I'll do that for about a minute and then do the same thing with the other side. And I'll do that as kind of a finisher to my regular training. There. 
So anyways, I hope that answers your question. Um, I also sometimes practice the one finger lifts too. I don't do that a whole lot. But anyways, I hope that answers your question. If you need some more follow-up or if anybody else has any questions, drop it in the comments below and I'll see if I can create a custom video answering a question if it's not something I have already answered before. But that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you like the content, please let me know by hitting that like button. Got additional questions, drop it in the comments below. If there's someone that you think should see this, please share it with them. Um, and if you, you want to see more of this thing, subscribe to the channel. Don't know if I said that one yet. But that's it for today. In the meantime, please stay happy, stay healthy, stay strong. Please stay safe, everyone. Eric Moss, over now.